Welcome to HackerTrading.com. This is Hari Swaminathan. In this video, I'm going to show you what we mean by the pilot's map and an instrument panel. So if you think of yourself as the pilot of an aircraft, then there are two things that you need. Um, you need a map to know where you're going and you need an instrument panel that can get you there. So in the options world, it's very similar. Now options have many dimensions. It's not like a stock. In a stock, either a stock can go up or it can go down. In the options world, we have many other parameters to look at as well. And all the basics of uh, options are covered in module two. Module two is entirely dedicated to understanding every little detail about the options world. So if you're a pilot, then you need a map and you need the instrument panel. In the options world, the map is your profit and loss profile. So that is, if you're on the think or swim, you can click on the risk profile. And this is your map because now this can give you a good idea of what your options position will do. So what we have here is, again, we have one contract of Google, the July series, the 560 call, and this is now, you can see it's going for $21.70. In the previous video, we saw that uh, it was going for about $19.70. And now the market has opened. Google is up about $4. Therefore, you can see that the price of your option has also moved by a certain amount. In this case, if we look at our risk profile, this gives us the map. So we know that if we bought an option, uh, it's going to go and move along this curve here. There's two lines, white, uh, the white line and the red line, and the, all of this is explained in module two. So as, the, as the price of Google moves, the price of your option is also going to move. So the profit and loss graph is your map. Now, what you also need is a set of instruments that you can rely upon. And those instruments are the Greeks. So in every options position, you have the main Greeks and they are the Delta, Gamma, Theta and Vega. So the Delta and Gamma dictate price movement of the option. So for a certain movement in the underlying stock, your Delta and Gamma will tell you how much the option is going to move in, in, in terms of its price. The Theta is your time decay element. All options expire at a certain time. And for every option, we can calculate what this time decay element is. And in this case, for this particular option on Google, our time decay is negative $37. So on a daily basis, this option will lose so much value. The Vega is the implied volatility Greek. So stocks and options have a certain volatility. And when you put on a certain position, you're putting it on at a certain volatility of the stock or the option. But this volatility is not going to remain the same. Depending on the market situation, the volatility is going to change. And how much your option position will be affected due to changes in implied volatility is dictated by the Greek Vega. So in general, you have four main Greeks, the Delta, Gamma, Theta, and Vega. And knowing the values of these Greeks, can give you a very clear picture as to how your options position will move depending upon a certain move in the underlying. So these are your instrument panel and for every options position it's critical that you understand how these Greeks are going to work and whether some of that is in your favor or it's going to go against you. Like for example being theta negative is bad for you as an option buyer. But Vega positive may be good because if volatility increases, then your position is going to increase by a certain amount, which is this $59. Whether you're an option buyer or an option seller, your profile will be different. In this case, what we're looking at is being an option buyer because we're buying one contract. So as an option buyer, you have certain exposure to the Greeks. And if you are an option seller, you will have a different set of exposures. And you can see that the risk graph also changes depending upon whether you're a buyer or a seller 
of an option. So it's very critical that you understand how the profit and loss graphs work and also how the instrument panel works. And in a profit and loss graph, what you have is the stock price on the x-axis and then your profit and loss on the y-axis. In the middle, you have a zero line. And whenever your position is above the zero line, that represents profits. And whenever your position is below the zero line, that represents losses. So again, let me change this back to a buyer's position. And you can see that in the case of a buyer, if Google goes up, then you're going to make a profit on your position. If it goes down, you'll make a loss. And how much you're going to lose and what are the effects of time decay and implied volatility is dictated by the Greeks. So the Greeks are your instrument panel. Your map is the profit and loss graph for, for every options position that you have or you plan to take, you need to understand how to use the profit and loss graph as well as the Greeks. All of this is covered in detail in module two. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.